All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some Grixis Control. Uh, competitive Legacy League. Join League. I forewarned with that Delver deck earlier this week, and the 2 3 kind of felt bad. But I kind of think that if you want to play Blue Red Delver, I kind of think Rich Callie's list is a better version. Now, the more that I think about it, because by not playing Grixis and playing Blue Red, you're saying, like, I'm worse against combo anyways. That why don't you just do a better Blue Red thing with more velocity? You know, especially if you're going to, like, make Terramander good. You know, and making, like, Terramander gets better with Light Up the Stage, I think. So that's what I think about that deck. So I just had a thought about it. This hand's awful. This hand's awesome. Not that awesome, but it's pretty good. I put this on the bottom. We just want lands. I'm gonna lead off with my bad lands, so that they waste it. They don't waste my my brainstormable land. All right. Here comes another matchup we can't win. We have some good sideboard cards, but this ain't going to be pretty. Oh, they drew. No, they, they had a wasteland. Okay. <clears throat> so I have to get the cards going. But they can just wasteland lock me. We'll get you there. I'm not sure you will, Tim. All right, I'm just going to play my Bloodstained Mire and pass. I want to somehow build up to this Jace. I don't really know how I'm going to get there. Gamble. I think that's forcible because that just means like either exploration. That's probably an exploration or a dark depths. All right. I mean, that's not awful besides the fact that it's awful. Gamble bug is going to discard it. What if they get a dark depths? All right. I'm just dead now because I can't I can't outpace the wasteland to ever get to my Jace. Yeah, I'm going to scoop this up for the, for the sake of time. Oh, uh, Dito with the host of 96 viewers. I appreciate you. Uh, everyone coming over from Dito's stream. My name is Dylan Hubby. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. I appreciate you all for coming over to hang out this afternoon. So Blood Moon's good. True Name's good. Diabolic Edict is good. Extraction and Spell Bomb are good. Cards that are not good. Fatal Push. So I gotta get my numbers right over here. Fatal Push is not good. My Lightning Bolts aren't good. My Liliana, the last hope, might not be very good either. But it's just a way to like definitively win the game, I guess. Like if I Surgical Punishing Fire, he's gonna have a really hard time fighting through it. Him and Torox, probably not that great. Maybe I should keep Lightning Bolt in to be able to, like, snap. Like, probably we can get rid of all of these hymns and keep, like, two of these bolts in here. Don't that's play a bit of awesome.
I mean, I could just be talked into bringing in Liliana because it's an actual way to win. You know? I kind of like that. Because it does actually win it. Like, Liliana, the last hope, does win a game. Yeah, I think flustering loam is a loose way to do it. Forcing loam is good. But it, the, the fluster storm is probably better than a loan bolt. Ooh, I only have 51 cards. You're right. We're going to keep the commands in to hit spheres, I think. Because spheres mess me up a little bit. All right. Like this hand, it's not that good, but it's it's got a it's got a clear line, and I can brainstorm in response to anything too wild. So I can't beat this card if I don't have a surgical, I don't think. So I'm gonna for I'm gonna brainstorm look for force. Okay, so I have a surgical and I have plenty of lands. But I won't need this Liliana. So we'll let this go. You almost want them to potential needles so they can hit off diamond. I don't know what that means. Yeah, appreciate the uh, raid, Dito. It's good to see you getting your stream set up. Oh, I appreciate the nice words. Okay. Uh, we're not owning. Playing and talking is difficult. We're getting owned. Christian and poor. That right there. Is a dark depths. Oh shoot! I clicked the wrong land. I guess it's not that bad because now I can, like, I mean, it's still pretty bad. Like, I wasn't gonna play Liliana this turn anyways. Um, I'll look at one more card. Let's play this out. Pass. I've got a brainstorm. So like, I get I get plenty of looks at a needle. Or a needle, an edict. No, we did not own. We were owned. All right, I'm going to brainstorm. Non-native language is definitely the hardest. I can imagine. All right, this is not going as well as we would have wanted it so far. All right. Don't kill me, opponent. Mono getting owned. <laughs> All right. We're dead. Oh, no, they're copying port. Oh. We're not dead. Uh, edict. Um, I don't remember if I... No, I just drew this land, so I don't need to fetch. Jeez. 
Guess I need to fetch. They can't double port me. So I can play Liliana or True Name. And just make a, and like at least get something on the battlefield. So I'm just going to play this True Name. I can't beat it if they go for it anyways. This might like prompt my opponent to go for it because right, we're owning. Oh my god, we're owning. <clears throat> it buys you a turn, right? Our opponent can still just like punishing fire us, so we can't we can't like take geez on crow. We can't like you know take down the illusion here. I would probably surgical a punishing fire, I think, if it hit the graveyard. Uh, first, I'm going to watch you live. Well, it's hard to deck to start off playing with, so you're probably going to do fine. Well, I mean, we're not putting a lot. Yeah, you can have that. We're not putting a lot of pressure on our opponent, right? Yeah. Like, real talk. It ain't pretty. Well, we're owning. All right, I'm just going to play this Liliana now. What's surprise? <clears throat> they just ported themselves. Maybe they've tried to go for it there. <laughs> I post is whoops. Sell twice means drop ten zero. Yeah, it's a tough run. Okay. All right. What am I doing with my life? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go color guns command. We're gonna shatter this mox diamond and shock my opponent. And if they go to punishing fire this, we'll rebuy it with Liliana. So let's attack first, because we're doing that regardless. Um, red, let's 
figured it out. Oh, there's my blood moon. If my opponent makes the 2020, I think I'm going to surgical this punishing fire. All right. Start copying that. Well, now I just want to surgical the punishing fire, anyways. All right, we read that wrong. We read the situation wrong. Um, they got two explosives. Two trackers, okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about humans against that shadow. That's just that's not good. Oh man, is my opponent getting tireless? Oh no, they're gonna loan for forty lands. Oh wow, this is just about as good as it could have gotten for the home team. Well, we've been represent I mean, I think that our opponent's playing a little scared, but we have been representing an edict the entire game. I don't know. All right, I'm going to play two lands. I'm going to get my basics. I'm going to attack with both of my creatures, so the true name's lethal next turn. Roll up on this. And then moon them. I just fetched my land out because I, I wanted to hit like something relevant with my draws, like because I really haven't yet, and I wanted but it was probably dumb to do. All right, what do we got? What an odd game of magic cards. I played someone on Sunday, tried humans for the first time.
Yeah, I think my opponent, my opponent played scared. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, definitely not ghosting. Yeah, it's really not as much better than I thought it was going to. Just the fact that it can rebuy Baleful Strikes. I don't think our opponent cited any answers to Blood Moon either. So they probably have some. I mean, they, they have ex Engineered Explosives. Hey, boy. Ugh. It's in the main deck. I don't know if I fixed it up in the cardboard live or not. They're one and one. They don't have it in, don't they? So they probably have to like cut some of these tireless trackers. I don't really get what the play is from my opponent. Like, we mooned him. There's two in a few weeks. Four shelter dogs. That's that's really awesome. This doesn't actually work, right? All right. Go team. Um. Yeah, I don't really think we change anything. Like they'll probably bring in crows and grips, and those will either come from the engineered explosives, or they'll come from the tireless tracker. So I don't want to board any more removal. So we're just gonna hit that old submit button. Peter. That card seems forcible. I kind of just want to make it to this blood move with my feet underneath me. I don't really think I can afford to brainstorm here. I could play the bomb. If I play out the bomb, I get another look at cards next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna play the bomb. Maybe we get an island. I'm just gonna assume that we find what we need. If I get chaliced or sphered, I guess I'm going to feel pretty stupid. Nice. So now... I probably just go ditch my Coligon's command, keep my force of will in case we draw like something to pair with it. Swamp. Double loan, sad. 
I was thinking we'd hit like uh, something to deal with. Um, something to deal with. Can't think. Can't think. I want to deal with something to kill Blood Moon. With that, Thoughtseize. I think I let him dredge. That was a good hit for us. Okay. So my opponent's hand is two loans and this. Okay. So my opponent already played one land, right? But they played two lands. They play Wasteland, they play Barbarian Ring. So I can just let this go. And probably just cycle my bomb now. Yeah, big LOL. I'm just going to take care of this. Nice hit. Again, I'm not really worried about this. We definitely need to get a second island. And this will be like, I don't know, some red land that produces mana. We didn't care about. Yeah, it was a good dredge for us for sure. What did they do? Oh, they they got a mox diamond going. Okay. All right. Well, Jason's how we're gonna win the game. So we will. A little worried about a punishing fire. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going up with my Jace immediately. No, you can draw that. Um, should I even attack? Does that matter? I guess I should. Like, I don't think they can do anything to me. All right, they put a punishing fire in the graveyard. I should Baleful Strikes first, figure out what my draw step is before I bait seal with this Jace. Uh, you can have Dark Depths. I'm just not giving him Crows and Grant. Whatever I do. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, if they dredge low, they're not drawing Crows and Grant, so I don't really care. Like, there's no way that... I haven't been keeping track of what my opponent has. But...
Okay, I just wanted to do this in case I hit like a uh, force of will or something. Or hit like a surgical, I go surgical, snap, surgical. Second line, that's all. So then we put this in the bottom. So that gives them two draws a turn. Two draws. Look at this, when I get the real estate agent in here, I can even beat lands. Put Gamble on the bottom. What does Gamble go get? Yeah, we gotta put this in the bottom because we can go get Crows and Grip. I'm probably gonna flash this Snapcast to Major and end the turn and brainstorm. I've turned some lights on in here. It's getting a little dark. I love playing Lantern Chase. All right. So I can attack for four. I haven't used my Jace yet. Whatever. I'm just going to leave back both of these birds. Just attack with a Snapcaster Mage. Go up. No. Play this Hope. I guess it was stupid to play Liliana because I could have gone hard cast force. No, I couldn't. I guess I probably could have just found a blue card and then kept like force will pitch, force will pitch, and hard cast force. Alrighty. Opponent sees the writing on the wall. That's a nice win. I think we played that last game pretty well, like just determining what was important and getting up to there. And I think that our opponent messed up the second game. There wasn't really anything we could do in the first game. I'm going to go grab some water and turn some lights on. How you feeling, buddy? After getting all your shots today? Shot, 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 shot. Baby boy, boy. No, it ain't that time yet, bud. You still have plenty of time for that. Seventy-three viewers. I hope everyone's having a great, uh, great time here. I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all checking it out. I'm glad you're all here. It's always fun to stream when you have more people watching. I'm going to grab a sweatshirt. I'm a little chilly, though. Uh, what's going on, big man? You in good spirits? Do you need some water? All right, I'll be right back, chap. Dog needs some water. Come on, bud.
Is this deck weak to Pyromancer decks? Um, generally not. I mean, it's weak to the card Young Pyromancer if you let it get out of control. All right. We're not. We're likely not going to be able to hem our opponent on two unless we see a black land on top of our deck. Our opponent's on a mulligan too, which is nice. Um. I don't even really think I want this. My hand's already expensive enough. I just kind of want things to smooth out my draw and to make it so that I get into the game where my deck can start to take advantage of it. Probably should have played my island. Yeah, all these are good. Yeah, I definitely should have played my island so that I could guarantee to... Hit a Baleful Strix on two. Now I can get Wastelanded, which would suck. And then depending on what we're playing, we can shuffle away that uh, that Edict. Yeah. That makes sense. It's like a four-cylinder Honda Civic. I have Eugene. Well, we're not cycling. We're not getting rid of that edict. Block. I will do what Baleful Strix does. All right, I'm just going to hem my opponent. What is this? Tell us on one, you got it. All right. Well, now I don't really want to hit my opponent. I kind of just want to play Liliana and eat this. And hope I don't get, like, reality smashered. Don't reality smasher me. Stop it. All right, Thorn, that's fine. I might end a turn edict this so that I can untap and hem the cards out of their hand if they draw like spells or something. I guess I should have edicted it right there because but then they could play the creature. Oh shoot. All right. That was stupid. I should have done it in response right there. So how do I fix my mistake? I guess I can just eat it now. Huh. All right. Now we're just slogging.
what I want to do is I want to hope they get kind of cards stranded in their hand and I get to go end of turn, Diabolic Edict, have them draw something. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to, we're going to, well, no, I can't, I can't do that now. I'm all over the place. Can't do that. All right, that's pretty nice. So draw a step. We're going to hit this Colagons, hit this Chalice and make my opponent discard a card. Alternatively, I actually could just hit the Monolith and make my opponent discard a card, which kind of sounds better to me. Oh, can they activate their Eye of Eugene? And we hit a Thought Knots here, which is kind of nice. Then eventually we're going to make land drops and be able to get there. Doesn't actually work. There, Chief. <clears throat> Best draws for us are just lands. That is not a land. I might ambush Viper. I might ambush Viper the Snapcaster Mage in, but. Uh -oh. That seems just kind of loosey goosey to do. But it'll get me closer to. Returning like a Baleful Strix to just because all I need to do is hit my land drops. But if I want to hit my land drops, I want my Snapcaster Mage. So I think I'm just going to like. All right, we are hitting land drops. So now I can actually Snap Edict this at the end of the turn. Ape. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four. So I can just go Ambush Viper block. That's just so mopey. But it makes my Edict better. We're just gonna pass. Like we can we can get rid of this chalice next turn. So now I can do it. And then I can untap and him them, which kind of sounds good to me, providing. Because I do need to start to get a little bit of a clock because, like, that Ayabugan is going to be a problem eventually. Hopefully they hit a creature. What we get? All right, all is dust. And now we're just chilling. 
My opponent has a lot of draws that we like just can't beat, but that's kind of one of them. So I might have to roll back my Liliana now, but I can probably just go up. Up, block, roll, roll down, get Snapcaster Mage, block, snap Colgon's command. The problem is we can just grind them out until they make land drops and start activating Eye of Ugin. So, like, we can short-term grind them out, but, like, over a, a long period of time, they're going to go way over the top of us. Oh, that's a nice draw. Oh, shoot. Shoot, I forgot about the chalice. No. Forgot about the chalice. That little mental lapse there, chat. A little bit of a mental lapse. That's okay. So now I'm going to just block. And then I will rebuy my Snapcaster Mage with Liliana. It's okay, we're gonna get it back. And now my opponent, my opponent can't attack because I can go, go shock shatter. And if they don't, I'm just gonna go shatter rebuy. We should be, we're going to start the value train, which everyone gets all excited about. That's what this deck is. This deck is just trying to return target creature, return target creature, destroy target artifact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four. Oh, so I can start activating this, which sucks. I guess I could hit a Jace and then bounce this. I'd be pretty excited. I can't do that. So let's just play another Strix. All right, we're going to start pondering now. Mm. Lightning Bolt's probably nice. But let me uh, kill this Liliana. Even though I could have done it next, I could have done it this turn. Jeez. I'm messing up all over the place now. The game's getting long, so I gotta start to like refocus. It's the hard part about playing this deck while streaming. There's just a lot going on. So what do we got? A smasher? We're getting smashed. Are we getting smashed? What are you getting? Yeah, I like smasher. So that'll deal with my Liliana, but I'll be able to trade a Baleful Strix with it. All right, let's start tightening it up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So Liliana did some work. Kept me in it. I didn't play this game very well, though.
Oh shoot, now this thing doesn't... That sucks. So I probably don't even want this lightning bolt now. Because it doesn't deal with this dot nuts here. Wouldn't mind shuffling away a bunch of these cards. Get an island. Do it all again. Okay, nice. Edict my opponent. I guess my opponent had a card. I forgot about that. Edict. All right, there's our boy. I guess I might as well ponder also. Okay. I think we're gonna win this game, though we could get like Ulamogged. All right, that's annoying. Ape. Okay, you got it. I mean, I was looking for a lot of new cards, right? I mean, maybe I didn't have to, but... Okay, so I can actually go Jace, Bounce, then Edict. So this will cost me five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's not going to work. I can go Jace, go up, and then block. Or I can just attack with both of my creatures. I'm just going to get in with the Strix, I think. And then I can play Jace, go up on myself. Put this on the bottom. You don't want to draw that. Now we can trade, trade. We can still force a walking blister if they have that. I think we're going to win this game. My opponent has got three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they can actually just play an Ulamog, which is going to be a mega problem at some point. So I'm going to have to try to answer my opponent's whole board here because they're going to play an Ulamog. And we have to be able to edict it. But if they, we can set up a, we, we can dig for a Kologon's command in order to deal with the Ulamog. As long as my opponent doesn't play, if my opponent plays their land, then we can't. But. Endbringer. Okay. True name. So I can go Bounce, and then I can go Diabolic Edict, play True Name, attack for three. I kind of like that. Oh, it's greedy, though. Or it's, I lose my Jace, which kind of sucks. Am I going to need my Jace to win if I get this True Name in play and have all this? I don't think so.
you know, we're just gonna bounce this, edict my opponent, and then play true name. Attack for three, play the nemesis. We kind of get dicked by an all his dust, but like, such is life, I guess. They drew another end runner. That's annoying. But it's okay. What does that do? That's when we kill the end bringer. So we just attack with everything. If they go, if they don't block with this, so they don't block with this, then Two, six gets through and they die. And then I get to kill the Endbringer if they if they go block block. They might play around Edict. <clears throat> Well, I get to clear their board away, right? Which is kind of nice. And I can still, like, force of will. Um... Oh, that was stupid. My opponent was just dead if I didn't do that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to play quickly and get these games over with while talking, which is kind of tough. But, like, if I just sit there and, like, wait. My opponent gets to see two cards. I don't know. Might not have been my, my greatest play there, but... Now we're like in trouble to a reality smasher. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah, this was a little loose. This looks like a reality smasher is coming. Oh, all right, well. Uh, I'm not even gonna counter this. I'm just gonna counter a, um, whatever it is. An all is dust. All right, what a slog. All right, so against this deck, I want Dreadbor, I want my other true name, I want Blood Moon, and the Edict. <laughs> Cards that are not that good. I actually don't really know how to sideboard this matchup. I have no idea how to sideboard, actually. This probably isn't good. Um, him is probably a little medium on the draw. Thoughtseize is probably kind of medium on the draw. Because it can't get underneath the chalice. And by the time I deal with the chalice, I won't be able to Thoughtseize them. The Liliana was kind of nice. I'm going to cut another him on the draw. I'm going to bring in Liliana. If the Liliana just let me mess around for long enough. All right, we have a force. 
It's a pretty solid hand. Can't really complain about this one. I almost want to let this resolve. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to. I could get punished. All right, well, now I can't. I got to force this. Sorry, so as much watching. You see that list you're trying out with the shadow? Uh, I do. Let me. Give me give me a little bit here. Let me finish what I'm doing. My opponent's deck doesn't play Wasteland, right? Right. Ratchet bomb. Okay. Inner chalice on one. Okay. I'm actually. I don't think I'm going to attack. Well, Reality Smasher is the card that kills my Liliana. Reality Smasher screws me either way. Nah, they're already they're at a pretty low life total. I might just be able to cheese my opponent out of this game. Get the most mediocre of beats on. Like next turn goes Shatter Shock. Put them to five. Put these ancient tombs out of commission pretty quick. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, no problem. Um, destroy target artifact. Do till damage to any target. So they only get to use these ancient tombs one more time, and they're still being pressure put on them. And like at any, where they're basically they're in bolt. I guess they're not in bolt range because that's just not how that works. But I can snap K command them. All right, you got it, opponent. All right, I appreciate all of you guys coming to hang out this afternoon. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. If you have any Card Hoarder or any Magic Online needs, you check out Card Hoarder. They just started a online loan program. Um, I write for the site MTG Corner. I usually write every week, sometimes twice a week. I am missing this week because I've been practicing on picking my decks for the quarterly. Um, if you want to check me out more, all my streams are archived on YouTube. Uh, if you want to interact with me about Magic, Philly boy, any of that stuff, you can go uh, look me up on Twitter. And last, if you're looking for Magic on Magic single, you should check out Gamer Craze. That's where I learned to play Magic, <clears throat> and they're a uh, they're a great store that fosters a college environment, so they have a lot of really competitive prices. So check them out. There's all that stuff is linked below. All right, let's hop back into it. I would like to play first. Oh. The 
this is like this is just an absolute heinous matchup, but I'm gonna keep. Like I'm not gonna win this game without Jace. I don't think game one. And you had to be like that. <laughs> you know what the funniest thing is? Is if Tim Schultz was still in my Twitch chat, I wouldn't even be able to beat him. Like, it wouldn't even matter the advantage he would get because he's so far ahead anyways. <laughs> just some hot missionary lights yeah just some lights on missionary action there Grant so I'm going to get an underground C it's going to let me get wastelanded but you know that's life yeah to Tim, uh, Tim subscribes to my channel. He's Schultz cubed. He's a little far up. I, Tim's not still in the chat, but the main deck engineered explosives. Can I like slow him down? Like, does him and him actually do anything? Maybe he's got like an exploration or something like that. Yeah, I don't know if it actually does anything now. I literally I put a loam into the graveyard. I put a loam and a punishing fire into the graveyard. Yeah, I was trying to get lucky and hit an exploration. Wow, he just thought not seared my land. Cool. Yeah, you you got, you know, you're saying some of the right things. I honestly think I might just like, I don't know, I've got to figure out how to. Like, this is a really bad matchup. He's got Ghost Quarter, too. So, down. can I realistically win when you have Ghost Quarter slash Wasteland and Exploration? Like, is there a path? I just asked him, I was like, can I realistically win when you have a ghost quarter or wasteland and exploration? Like, you know, is it, like, what, what, how do I win the game? But it requires some fetch lands. I didn't know the first way. All right, I'm just going to play this. Attack Tim. Yeah, I think the beatdowns are not really going to do it. No, you're kidding. Okay. Maze of it. Wasteland. Um, 
Okay. I probably shouldn't play my lands unless I have a fetch land. Time. Okay. You get an island. All right, <clears throat> we're brainstorm locked. So I will skew with the true name might have been able to get me there, but eventually he would be able to set up a tabernacle lock. And get me good. All right, um, the removal's not good. I want these. I don't remember what I cut. Again, I don't remember if I want the last hope or not. Being able to recur baleful structures. Oh, the hymns come out. Okay. All right, this is what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. All right, keep. Go fetch an island and ponder. I think I'm going to shuffle this because like Blood Moon's more important than Jace. And for me to be able to set up Blood Moon, I need to find basics. So, Edict's not bad. I can ponder again next turn. Yeah, that would be nice. I would appreciate that. Uh oh. We're just gonna get turn one choked. Is this real life? Wow, that is rude. That is rude. I could play through this, but I don't think I, I don't think I can beat a resolve choke. All right, three man chains have proven to be more effective on turn one. <laughs> oh, don't. Why did Tim just concede the match? Was he like dead for cash? Tim was three and one. Wait, Tim, were you dead for cash? Are you back in here? Tim. I got home from work and we're getting Tim one choked. Yeah. Tim is a very nice guy. But like I like it was Tim, were you dead? It was Tim dead for cash? I hope he was dead for cash. If he wasn't dead for cash, then I would be I would be so sad. We'll get back to it in the next one. But yeah, that was a shellacking. I still cashed a worry. Well, Jesus, Tim. 
if you just gave me, let me let me trade you some of my treasure chests after this league. What would you do? Would you like three two or something? You already subscribed to my stream, Tim. There's really no need. I insist on shipping some treasure chests your way after this. It's my only chance to flex. Yeah, I mean, you definitely showed who's boss right there. I have to add. I always forget to add buddies on here. Your moto is Schultz cubed, right? It's the same thing as it is. I probably have to do like upca uppercase or tweaks out. All right. Just getting here for the fourth match. I didn't feel nice that I beat lands earlier. We're gonna keep. I'm gonna go get a uh, underground sea and ponder. I'm supposed to differentiate usernames. Oh, what do we got here? We have a serum powder deck. Mox diamond. So just this is just like a mud deck. Well, now I kind of want to thought seize my opponent. What am I, but I'm not that afraid of Chalice on one. Like, yeah, I'm just going to ponder. I'm going to find lands. And lands I found. So I'm going to him the shit out of my opponent. Tim, I'm going to spam you with trade requests. I will not accept. You better take eight of my treasure chests after this, you, you slimy bastard. Wow, the weather is shit out here. Billy Boy's got half an hour until D-I-N-N-E-R. He's getting pretty amped. I see he's working up to it. Starting slow. Trying to get there. All right, opponent's in the tank. I'm gonna go get some water while they're in the tank. Not yet, bud. Oh, they're not in the tank anymore. Mox Diamond, you got it. All right, I'm just going to go get some water. No, no, no. It's not time, even though you think it's time. Your brain is really tiny. Your heart is big, but your brain is small. My opponent's going to see, going to like turn one thought, not sear me. Jesus. That's a problem. My deck can't beat this card. This is gonna be a slog. I would like to him, but like this is a problem. I was really hoping that was like a thought not seer. You know, like that would have been, I would have been okay with that. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing it. 
We out here getting Karn. All right, so what do they, all these do? These players have taken. The player sacrifices a permanent. Right, I don't want that. You can have Trinisphere, I guess. I don't really see how I win. I guess I should have thought seized on turn one. Thought seizing on one would have been sweet. The dream is dead, yes. Like, is my out my opponent tapping Ancient Tomb too many times? All right, I'm going to scoop. I could play this game out and slog for a little while, but like, I, I kind of want to be efficient. Um, I want this true name. I think I want this edict. I don't think I want these pushes. And we're going to submit. Liliana is probably better than a lightning bolt. Like, there's a chance that I do all right in that game, but I would like to just keep the games going here. Because, like, I'm not really learning a lot. I, I don't really know if I want Blood Moon, if they're, like, a Karn Mox Opal deck. Like, they have Serum Powder. Like, I don't know if Blood Moon's going to cut them off of anything. Like, I don't think the Blood Moon's going to do that much. We saw Basics. We saw Serum Powder which can make it so they can cast their things. And we saw Mox Diamond. Like, I'm not really sure Blood Moon is, like... Like, Blood Moon is a good card, but I'm not really sure that's where I'm going to be to win the game, you know? Like, we beat the last Eldrazi deck without Blood Moon. Like, I, I more or less think the Blood Moons are needed for lands and dark depths. If we see posts, then, like... I'm definitely wrong. All right, Mox Diamond. All right, I'm going to get an Underground C. Ponderosa. All right, we're going to go like this. I'll probably end up drawing the Liliana, but not the Jace. This is okay. All right, nice. Let's get the last two cards. Opponents playing off the top. Just Mistress Factory and Mox Diamond. Nothing special. That's annoying. All right, so that's probably going to get Kate commanded. Because if they draw Wasteland, then I'm just, like, super screwed.
As long as our mana stays intact, we're going to be okay. That's not good. All right, we're going to end up just trading a Snapcaster here. God. All right. The little snapcaster that could. All right. That car. <clears throat> Can have a planes. This is great. Maybe I'm supposed to hit the chalice, but like it, that, that crucible could end up burying me. Like this deck is such a um, such a fragile mana base. Okay. This deck is such a fragile mana base that it's just pretty important to it to. Uh, to make sure that it stays intact. There's just like no good way to get around this. He goes to animate. Then I'll just go shatter deal two to Karn. Then we might be able to diabolic edict our way out of one of them. Um, destroy target artifact, deal two damage to Karn. I don't think I can afford. I think I have to get this Karn off the table. Like the Chalice is a problem, but I, I think that I've got to get. I have two more K commands in my deck. I think I've got to like get into this Karn in order to do anything. But I guess they can just get their Crucible and then play the thing back. Blech. All right, well, they can put us out of our misery.
Because like eventually this card is just gonna bury me in just massive creatures. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to do I don't know what to do with that one. Cause like I can't beat the chalice. I also can't beat the Karn, but if I beat the Karn, if I get Karn off the battlefield, then it gives me a chance to land something like a Jace and power through it. I think. I don't know. Either way, it was not good. Yeah. I kind of wanted to keep my, like, I'd like, I kind of wanted to keep my presence on the battlefield so that maybe I could go, like, I don't know, maybe I draw, like, another edict and then I can go, like, edict, edict, kill Karn and then try to figure it out. No, I let him block first because... If I don't let him block, he just animates the other one and then pumps the other one. All right, we're going to keep this. I like hands where my mana is set up. My mana is going to be very set up this game. We just have to ponder our way into stuff. Like, we can just die, but... <clears throat> Yeah, but in order for I don't think I can beat J. I don't think I can beat the Karn with a Chalice and a Jace. All right, we're gonna go like this. You know, like I have to get the Karn off. If I get the Karn off the battlefield, I think I have a shot. But as long as the Karn's on the battlefield. And they're drawing two cards a turn while being able to put pressure on me. Or they can just make huge dudes that I can't beat. It might be one thing. I didn't have a Baleful Strix either. This is odd. Yeah. The stupid car just finds him another chalice, though, which just sucks. All right, land go. Maybe I should have brainstormed. I guess I should have brainstormed because I might want to pitch up another card. All right, so let me fetch in my upkeep. All right, we want to make sure that we have are able to get double black. It's not a bad draw. Okay. Pitch, pitch. Play Baleful Strix. All right, well, there's our way to win. All right. I'm going to snap ponder. I could snap brainstorm to find like land plus thoughtsies, but 
that could go haywire pretty quick. Okay, I mean, that's a nice hit. All right. Yes. Oh, I should have left that on top because they don't have the lands for it. All right, so now we just go Thought Seize. Snapcaster, Thought Seeds, Fate Seal again. <clears throat> oh, 50% pizza. Oh, nice. And this is why this is just a, a very poor combo deck, in my opinion. Because, like, like, I don't understand why you would play this deck when you can play, like, Storm or Sneak and Show. I'm going to put this on the bottom. I think that's better than a random draw step. When you play Storm or Dark Deaths. Because, like, you're just, like, you have to start every single counter fight down however many cards. You have so many A plus B cards that just don't matter. You know, like, this is a pile of garbage. All right. Um, Trunian's bad. Uh, fatal pushes are bad. Edict's like, I kind of hate my life if I keep Edict in my deck, but it might just be necessary. Am I playing Collins Mullen? If the top three aren't better than a random draw step, Ponder gives you a random draw step. What do you mean, Grant? I probably should keep the true names in my deck. We have to watch out for uh, whatever it is. Um, Blood Moon. Oh, I did. I forgot to board. I must have boarded wrong. Yeah, that was an accident. If I did, I thought I, I thought my numbers were right. I didn't mean to submit sixty-two, but. I thought that my numbers were correct, but it turns out they weren't. Um, All right, so now if he jams Blood Moon, we're set. I'm going to brainstorm at the end of his turn. Ancient Tomb. I'm still going to brainstorm. We have outs to this, but I'm going to brainstorm. I might as well brainstorm with it on the stack.
target player draws a card, then exiles a card from their hand. I, I think I'm going to force this. I think I'm going to pitch the true name and then look to have this him do some work next turn. I also don't think I'm going to respect Blood Moon. I'm going to fetch like a Badlands with this. Yeah, I doubt we're going to be snap hitting. So let's fetch in our upkeep. Probably just get a Badlands. Brainstorm and a sneak attack. Now we just kind of hope he doesn't have it. It is mana intensive. All tokens exiled at the next end step. So I have quite a bit of outs to this card. All right, I think I'm going to snap him again. Is he just sitting there like projecting it? He has a fluster storm. Like, am I just supposed to like surgical the fluster storm? I'm gonna feel so bad if he just has it. Could shock him and make him discard a card. Or I guess I can just hope he doesn't have it and because he can't block with the Snapcaster Mage. Or I'll K command it. <clears throat> well, you might have cantrips as well. Like. Yeah, we hit Forest and Ponder, which is nice. I think that he's definitely got something else, though. But. Yep, you got it. Boy, I've been smart enough to Surgical the Ponder. He shuffled. Which is good for us. And now we want him to block. Exiles a card from their hand. When leaves the battlefield, exile all tokens created. You could just make a token and then just like dunk on my Snapcaster Mage. How does this work? Let's do it in response, so I guess it doesn't matter.
card. All right. I kind of want to take the sneak attacks out of the deck while I can. Alternatively, I can take the Fluster Storms because I can beat everything else. It's like, do I take Fluster Storm or do I take Force of Will? Because I want this to resolve to get rid of the Gristle Brand. I kind of want to take the Fluster Storm because it's either Fluster Storm or Sneak Attack. Because I can't counter Sneak Attack with. Um, with. I can't get sneak attack with fluster storm and uh, fluster storm will counter my fluster storm I might be able to put enough copies there might be something happening where there's enough copies on the stack in order to deal with that so alternatively you're right there so I guess we just let this go and then I can do it in the draw step which will increase the storm count What? Oh, at the beginning of the next end step. Okay. So I think I'm going to take the sneak attacks. Ooh. I don't know if I've played this game super... I feel like I've... I don't know. Maybe I could have gone... But did it turn would snap? Like, what do I have left in my deck? I had two Edicts to look at and one Lightning Bolt. All right, we did hit one. But he has the arcane dude again, which is going to be a major problem. He brought in ley lines, which is worth noting. Of any counter magic. Yeah, this artisan is gonna is not gonna be good. We're gonna have to find like a blast or something. I'm definitely gonna fluster storm a ponder, I think. Because yeah, I'm going to fluster storm. Because this is going to make him pay. This will be the third spell of the turn, so he can't play it. So we're just going to fluster storm this. And if he wants to pay for it, that's great. We'll shut off this ancient tomb. It'll just delay him a turn. Leyline's good against him. 
Kologon's Command. It's good against a lot of cards in the deck. All right, come on. Something. Oh, doesn't he have two gristle brands? Tilt. I should have played my land at least to make him think about it. Thought seizing one of these just doesn't matter. <clears throat> the good thing is, is that you can't do anything. Like, you can't draw seven off of it. So, if we do find a way to do it, we do just kill this thing. Well, I mean, it's a 7 7 flying lifelinker. Um. Doesn't do it. That ain't it. No, I should hang on. I should thought seize one of the gristle brands so I can trade with the baleful strix. No, because he'll just make a he'll just make a gristle brand and block. If I get rid of one of the Gristle Brands, then um, after he makes the first one, can't make the second one. You know? Which, there may be some world where that buys us enough time. Well, he's in a little dire, more dire straits than he was last time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, the edict's fine. And hopefully we brainstorm into like a Jace. What are we doing here? Are we looking for like an Emrakul? Found an Emrakul. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to scoop it up here. I don't really want to play through this. I don't think I can either. Like, sack this. I have a land. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have a way to play through that. All right. How many artisans did we see in the deck? So one defense grid is two artisans, and he drew both of them. Yeah. Yeah, I might do a little more shifting around here. Like, Diabolic Edict looks kind of poor. And maybe this is better. They both suck. You can't go out of the face if they're a ley line, but at least you can kill Artisan. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. All right, I would like to play first. I would like to keep. And don't lay line me. Don't lay line me. Mulligan. Keep, don't lay line me. Yes. I'm going to get a Badlands and blast any cantrip. All right. You got Force plus blue card. Into him. Right, we have brainstorm and a delta, so might not have lands. Yeah, it doesn't have lands. All right, so let's ponder into a land and play baleful strict. The hard part here is we just give him so much time to come back. That's pretty nice. Let's go like this. We'll go like this. Draw a step. We will surgical the show and tells. I should have, whatever, I'm going to fight over this. So four, if I play true name next turn, it goes, my opponent goes to 12, then goes to five, cuts a turn off the clock. And it makes so that he goes from 12 
take seven to five. Yeah, I don't think this matters. All right, I don't think that matters either. We'll just keep our uh, we'll just keep our mana up. I do want to hit a land drop. All right, that's not bad. So put back this. Put back. So true name can be my pitch card. I guess I'll just keep. I want to make a land drop, but now I don't even want to make a land drop. So we attack next turn, and we effectively wasteland this Ancient Tomb. There we go. All right, get the 3-2. We're going to be knocking on Tim Schultz's door here in a second. Um, let's go back to the deck, chat about the deck a little bit. Then i got to go feed Phil, then we'll play another league in a second. So... I lost the land, which is a pretty poor matchup, but I, maybe I switch from a Nihil Spellbomb to another Surgical and play three Surgicals, and then I can I have game there. I think after sideboard with three Surgicals and two Moons, I'm pretty solid. Um, I lost to that weird Eldrazi deck, but, like, or that weird Artifact deck, but, like, whatever. I don't think I'm going to see that this weekend. Overall, I like this deck. Like... I think it's very good against Delver, very good against Stoneblade, and very good against Miracles if they don't have um, Artifact Disruption. Or if they don't have Accumulated Knowledge. Accumulated Knowledge is tough to beat from this deck. So, I like it. I like it better than Austin Collins' Blue Red deck. We're going to try Rich Callie's Blue Red deck next. 